G'day, uh, my name is Dr. Ben Fitzpatrick. I'm the new uh, Coastal and Marine Thematic Group Lead. Uh, I've got 20 years or so of um, background experience in major marine research programs, uh, management programs, uh, conservation efforts uh, here in, 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 in Australia and, and more broadly in the Indo Pacific region. I've got a PhD in marine science, uh, specialising in tropical marine ecology. Uh, and the impact of MPAs. Um, also done a, a first class honours in applied fisheries science. Um, and uh, I've got a proposed co-lead. Her name is Athena Zivanopoulos. Uh, she's currently an officer with the Canadian government working on their marine and coastal um, sort of policy and uh, initiatives. Uh, she has a master in arts and public and international affairs with a specialisation in environmental sustainability um, and she's also got a Bachelor of Social Sciences with honours in international development and, and globalisation. So between myself with, with quite a strong heavy uh, technical background um, and Athena we, we, we sort of cover off on, on sort of uh, the technical as well as the, the policy um, management law um, aspects of um, protecting, uh, conserving and restoring uh, the marine and coastal environment. Um, so my main objectives for, for, for the group moving into this next four year period is to increase uh, technical and financial support to local groups uh, that are developing solutions uh, that are aligned with IECN, uh, CEM objectives. Uh, I really strongly believe that it's those little organisations, community-led organisations, little non-profit organisations that are implementing work on the ground uh, are the key to success in, in achieving conservation outcomes uh, for marine and coastal environments. Um, so assisting them in identifying opportunities to align with uh, regional and, and global programs within and outside of IUCN is, is really important in that context. Um, and I also want to be able to help um, develop a set of resources that are available to local groups that might be working on similar things in different areas um, and to, to improve upon their practices. So to that end, uh, the planned activities that we have um, is, is to network with, with the C, CNM uh, group members firstly, um, to identify what priority issues we have in the coastal marine environment that we want to address, um, perhaps understand a little bit about some of the, the local initiatives that are being implemented around the world um, and programs working to uh, address those issues. Um, we want to establish an ongoing exchange with these um, groups. Uh, we want to help them to refine their solutions and identify opportunities for them to, 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 to grow and, and to scale up their impact. Um, we want to improve local group um, project management or implementation of projects or monitoring and evaluation of their efforts. Um, and we can do so in a, in a number of ways through perhaps online um, sharing of information, um, spatial databases, the development up of, of, of protocols and procedures um, and, and so on. So in the end, we have a, a toolbox of, of um, solutions that can be and, and documentation that provide uh, to, to other organisations doing similar things around the world. Um, expected results of, of this at, at the end of four years, um, I want to have um, improved uh, the capacity uh, to implement global programs. Um, I want to um, increase opportunity at a local level and I want to um, secure um, greater outcomes for, for local projects. Um, there's improved coordination between local projects, experts and global programs to ensure that those people who are doing the, the, the work on the ground are actually um, being informed by the best available advice. Um, and I also want to um, improve upon uh, knowledge transfer 
uh, sharing of resources and information, access to opportunities uh, for these for these groups. Um, that's about it for me. Thanks very kindly for your listening and um, really looking forward to working with everybody um, over the next four years. Thanks very much.